This session is about hemoglobinopathies. Hemoglobinopathies means abnormal hemoglobins are produced. So, abnormalities in hemoglobin and its function, they are collectively called as hemoglobinopathies. It is caused by mutation of hemoglobin chains resulting abnormal, either abnormal or variant hemoglobins. Okay. So, the hemoglobins are produced in an abnormal fashion, otherwise its function is abnormal. So, only two things. Structure is affected, otherwise function is affected. These two things are happening because of mutation in the hemoglobin chain. So, what are the types of hemoglobinopathies? They are produced due to abnormalities in the primary sequence of globin chains. Second thing, abnormalities in the rate of synthesis. That means both are defect in synthesis. Synthesis is normal, but the quantity Okay, the amount of hemoglobin produced is reduced. We call it as quantitative hemoglobinopathy. Whereas, synthesis itself abnormal. But there is no compromise in the quantity. It is normal. Normal quantity is produced, but it is structurally abnormal. It affects the primary sequence of globin chain. That means you call it as qualitative hemoglobinopathy. So, what are the examples? So, when it is a qualitative hemoglobinopathy, it is caused by sickle cell anemia. And the quantitative hemoglobinopathy example is thalassemia. So, first we will see about sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia is the inherited form of anemia, okay, autosomal recessive. The RBCs contains sickled hemoglobins, okay, HBS. It is not the normal hemoglobin that is HbA2. It is replaced by HBS. So, if the RBC contains HBS, they are unable to carry oxygen. This RBC acquire a sickle shape due to missense mutation. In missense mutation, there is a point mutation, single nucleotide alteration that is called as point mutation in the gene for beta globin. It is prevalent in the tropical areas, especially in Africa. Sickle cell anemia is caused by a point mutation in the beta globin chain and not the alpha. So, in sickle cell disease, glutamic acid in the sixth position of the beta chain is changed to valine in sickle cell hemoglobin. So, the polymerization of hemoglobin molecules inside RBC takes place. This causes distortion of the cell into sickle shape. Usually, the RBC is in a concave shaped, biconcave shaped RBC is changed to sickle shaped RBC in case of sickle cell disease. So, what is missense mutation? So, in case of missense mutation, what happens? You can see a wild type and an abnormal type. This DNA sequence is normal, whereas a single base is changed here. Okay, in the abnormal type, a single base is changed in the normal DNA sequence so that serine amino acid is produced in place of glycine. Okay? So, there is a substitution of one amino acid by another amino acids during 
point mutation. So this one is called as the missense mutation. So what is happening in the sickle cell anemia? In sickle cell anemia, you can see the DNA here. Here, this T is changed to adenine. Okay, T is changed by another base that is A. So that valin is produced instead of glutamate in the sixth position. Okay, so there is a point mutation of the sixth codon of beta globin chain. So there is a replacement of glutamate by valin. Okay, your codon GAA has become GUA due to this single base mutation. Okay, otherwise a point mutation. So, this results in sickle cell hemoglobin. Due to this HBS, there is a production of sticky patch in the beta globin chain. Okay, because the mutation is present in the beta globin chain. Due to this replacement, glutamic acid to valin, there is a sticky patch production. Your glutamate compound is an hydrophilic compound, whereas valin is hydrophobic compound. Your deoxyhemoglobin has hydrophobic residues in a group called as receptor. This open thing is called as receptor, which has hydrophobic residues phenylalanine and leucine. So, these two are called as a sticky patch. The sticky patch is produced in both oxy and deoxy form of HBS. I am saying oxy and deoxy form of HBS. But the receptor is present. The sticky patch receptor is present only in the deoxy hemoglobin. This deoxyhemoglobin, that sticky receptor also contains a hydrophobic cavity. Okay, the hydrophobic cavity is produced by two residues, phenylalanine and leucine. 